Dr. Lin, love you, brother. Rest in peace. This patient came to see me regarding tooth number 19 in 2019. See? And he told me, he said, uh, his dentist did the root canal a year prior. So this root canal was done in 2018. So five years ago. It would have been, it would have, it's five years ago now, but so uh, when he came to see me, the root canal was done a year ago. And take a look here. He had no symptoms, no issues, but look, uh, gutta percha is extended out the canal about, let's say, four or five millimeters here, and a few millimeters, three, two, three millimeters, maybe four millimeters here. Patient had no symptoms, okay? And that's in 2019. All right, so I said, no treatment. You have no issues, no symptoms, so no treatment. So that's that. this x-ray is from 2019. And this x-ray is from just now, today. You can see, that's today, just now. The patient, I haven't seen him yet. The girls are taking x-rays. Uh, he lost tooth number 18. He has trigeminal neuralgia, okay? And people keep doing root canals on him and, and extracting his teeth. They don't realize that he has trigeminal neuralgia. I diagnosed him as having trigeminal neuralgia, but no one no one reads my report apparently, just like some of you guys not watching my videos. And uh, one of you guys is from Kazvin, so I'm not gonna say anymore. But <laughs> this x-ray is from today, so take a look. Again, the tooth is unchanged. So to those who say overextended gutta percha will cause endodontic failure, I don't know how many x-rays and how many cases I can present to you. You're wrong. So remember Dr. Lin's study. The extent of gutta percha doesn't determine whether a root canal will fail or not. It could be short, it could be flush, it could be long. The extent of obturation doesn't determine whether a root canal will fail or will be successful. It's the presence of microorganisms in the canal that decide whether a root canal will, will, will be successful or fail. If you have bacteria in the canals, your root canal will fail. If there is no bacteria in the canals, like in this case, the extent of the obturation makes no difference, even if it's long like this. All right, again, you can see x-rays from today. So root canal was done in 2018. That's uh, five years ago. And the tooth is still okay, no problems. But, you know, he lost the tooth here. Again, the, I, I diagnosed him as having trigeminal neuralgia. And people keep doing root canals on him and extracting his teeth.